the morning, day 24. Start my morning with uh, Anna on me and Elsa on me. Hi, Elsa. Hi, Elsa. I hear another kitty. Oh, it's Aspen. Anyway, um, I feel pretty good. Um, I think it's, I think I'm feeling, well, I haven't got out of bed, so, I mean, right now I feel fine. Um, we have decided to drive to Spring City today to, um, hang out for the day, sleep over, and, um, have Easter morning with our daughter and nieces and nephews, my brother John and his wife Heather. So they've been super quarantined the, this whole time. And so me and Ryan are just gonna go down and I'm so excited to get out and drive and move to a different location. I can't wait to show you. The kitties are gonna be, they're gonna have a rager while we're gone. Beverly Kitty Rager. Kitties! Oh look, I can get both of them in. How awesome is that? Oh, don't leave. These are the sisters, Elsa and Anna. Okay, good start to my day. So we're in the car heading to Spring City, driving through the Spanish Fort Canyon. Just kidding. Are we in the canyon? Oh, just kidding. Thistle, past We're in Thistle. Thistle, past Thistle. We've turned off the canyon. Anyway. Highway 89. Highway 89. So, um, I, so there's good parts and bad parts about being, have gone through this already, been through, gone through treatment once already, and being a nurse. Because, um, the physicians and the nurses, they, you know, listen to me and, I'll say, hey, I need this med, or I think I should do this, and they will, you know, uh, of course they use their clinical judgment and expertise, but they pretty much will give me, you know, what I want. So I have done three medication F-ups this time around. Um, the gabapentin, they just kind of started me on what I um, was on last time, which by the end I did need 1200 milligrams, and I started with that, holy cow, you guys all saw that. I was super sedated, and so I'm doing 300 a night, which is more reasonable. Um, then I um, have a primary care physician, but once I start at Huntsman, I Huntsman starts managing all my medical care and medications. So I take 10 milligrams of Lexapro, an antidepressant, and um, I needed a new prescription, and so last time I went through multiple myeloma treatment I was on 20 milligrams because it can get really depressing and so um, they refilled my prescription uh, well so I told the huntsman I said hey just up it to 20 um, because I just want to have that option so it was in, you know it's it's bottle I picked it up when I filled it when I filled it um, you know, made my little medications for the night. I just took 20 for two nights in a row, and that's a huge increase really fast. So for two days, I felt super sick and sleepy um, because I upped it way too fast and it gave me really bad nausea and sleepiness. So I definitely backed it down to 10. I do not feel super depressed right now, so I did for a couple days, but I'm gonna keep it at 10 and go up slow if I need to. So, um, I need to stop being my own doctor. And then um, today, the best one is uh, the dexamethasone, the steroid. It said take it every Thursday, even this last Thursday. And I was like, well, that must be a mistake because I'm not dosing. So I just didn't take it. And, you know, it didn't feel great. I didn't have them I'm just like, eh, I, don't, I still don't feel great because maybe all the meds need to get out of my body. So I decided today to call the pharmacist and the nurse up at the BMT clinic. And I said, why is Dex on the Thursday that I don't dose? And the pharmacist said, 
um, that DEX was part of multiple myeloma treatment, and um, it's every Thursday whether you dose or not. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, because you know I know more than the therapist, uh, the, sorry, than the pharmacist and the doctor and the people who treat multiple myeloma. So um, I had to take it today, which it already makes me feel a little bit better. So I could have been feeling better Thursday, Friday, and it would be probably wearing off today. So now I'm gonna be on crack for the next two days, which maybe it'll be good because we're gonna be in Spring City. But um, yeah, just ask questions, listen to your doctors, clarify things. Yeah, I've, uh, I've just, you know, take things in my own hands because I know everything about drugs and multiple myeloma. No, not, not true. Anyway, so there's my update. Look at how beautiful the clouds and everything's starting to be green. Anyway, so this is probably gonna be a longer post today because we're going to Spring City. I'm gonna wanna show you so much stuff. So I'm feeling pretty good. We're in Spring City. So nice to be here. Really nice, we're going on a so little walk. this is a house that we've had since we were kids. It was a school slash endowment house built in 1876. And uh, you'll notice the bridge, it's like Giverny. And uh, my dad loves to put things on the door that represent him. So we're just gonna walk by it right now because uh, there's always puppies and kittens to go see. Oh, puppies. Always. So, so I guess there's a new batch of puppies we're gonna go see. There is seven! And if you notice, like, it's pretty easy to social distance here. Nothing going on, nothing happening. So this is Spring City. Ryan and Ruby, they're gonna take a long time. This is what happens in Spring City. Are you protected? Yeah. There's always puppies and kittens, and I have brought home at least four puppies, and I don't know how many kittens in my lifetime. I was banned from coming down here because I can't help it. You gotta put her down on the Oh my gosh. Cutest puppies ever. Look at this little guy. Daddy, let me hold this one. Oh my gosh. No time. Hey, Mom. It's okay. Everyone's Ooh. good. Everyone's oh, good. Oh, oh. 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 I'm not gonna touch my face. I can't help myself. They're so cute. Oh, that one. That one's a little bit feisty. Now he has found a friend. Oh, oh, the runt. Look at this adorable face. Oh. This, if we were gonna get ever. one, we would get this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I won't let him lick oh, Ruby, me. Put that back. Put that I just back. want to lay down and have the dogs put that, put roll all back. over me. Ruby. Now go put him back in. Go put him back in, Ruby. Go what? put him back in. Okay, it's okay if you judge me. Did you just barely start? I just restarted. Okay, good. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Can I hold one? This, this is better than any favorite. medicine. This is better than any dex. This is better. Shopping or alcohol or Where did Ruby and Charlie go? Oh my god. That's high praise. Go. I love you so much. I love you so much. Ah. Oh, one, two, three, cheese. Come on. Cheese. Ah. Oh yeah. It's just swings all the time in Spring City. Hey, I'm holding on to you. So this is the other house that we have. I'm not gonna go in because I don't have the key. Where we have bonfires. This was our, this is the original. The original, awesome. The colors are amazing. Cause my dad is a colorful guy. Um, here's the front of the house. And so, 
This is uh, this is the front door. That was my Nana's lamp in front of her house in Newport, Balboa. And this is what we got. You can leave my dad a little message. He's got all his icons. And, uh, oops, I won't do that. Oh yeah, isn't it beautiful? This is the fun house. I'll show you, if I get a chance, I'll show you tomorrow the inside. But so we come out and come to the um, awesome little bridge with a little stream that was just dug out all the way up to the other house. So yeah, we were so lucky that we got to buy the house um, on the corner because we were definitely outgrowing the one little house. So we can just walk through the backyard to the other house. How fantastic. Oh my gosh, Hi Romania at its finest. Again, another great thing you can do in Spring City and nobody questions it. It's just normal to make huge bonfires in your backyard. Oh yeah. This is my brother John and his son's favorite thing. The kids have laid out their Easter baskets for the Easter Bunny in Spring City. Super cute. They're pretty excited. For most of my life, I have been in Balboa for Easter um, and now a couple times in Spring City. So yeah, it's always fun having Easter at another place with cousins. Okay, end of day 24, no kitties because we're in Spring City and um, I'm really grateful that I took the decks, the steroids, because um, by the time I got down here, it was like, okay, I have energy. I feel just like, I don't even know if I felt nausea today. That's amazing. Maybe it's because I was just in Spring City with all my nieces and nephews and Maggie and I was distracted, but I felt way better today. What do you think, Ryan? You think I felt great today? Yes, she did great today. <laughs> um, so we're excited to have Easter here tomorrow and uh, it was really a good day it's so different than being in Salt Lake because um, there's no cases of coronavirus in San Pete County and um, I mean you're already pretty distanced down here um, it didn't look like, I mean, I don't know, like, there was much social distancing. Wow, sorry, that was a long pause. Don't know how to put my words together. But these guys have been so isolated that, um, they are not really worried about getting it. And so it's been nice to just be totally isolated down here and not be as fearful and go on walks and play with puppies and play with my nieces and nephews and see my brother and his wife and hang out with Maggie and Orion. It's just, it was a great day. I am really thankful for Spring City and my family and the houses we have and really, really great day. So. I hope this isn't too long because I took a ton of videos, so I'll, um, you know, I'm going to edit right now, but uh, I might have to save some for tomorrow. Anyway, yay.